Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're reviewing set number 75300, the Imperial TIE Fighter, to go along with the X-Wing I just reviewed. And this set retails for $40 and comes with 432 pieces, and we will see if that is a good deal. So here are the first looks at the set. Over here is the TIE Fighter, which is another downsized ship. This is the cheapest TIE Fighter they've ever made that is in the Juniors or a Microfighter, I think. At only $40, and over here... We have the three minifigures, so it comes with a Stormtrooper, a TIE Fighter Pilot, and a Droid. I did find it a mistake in the instruction manual. If you look here, there's no piece right here. And then if you look over here, there is one with no mention of it being placed. So there's just a random piece inserted there that isn't put on until the next step. So what play features does a $40 TIE Fighter have? Well, really, it just has the normal play features. The first one is, of course, you can put the minifigure in the cockpit. In the cockpit, you kind of pull this down, then you open this up, and then you have access to the inside, which is really cramped, and I don't really like how the back of it just has this Technic look. I kind of wish they would have finished that off better, but I guess they really couldn't do that because it is very small. And for the controls, he has these two little red dot things, which I don't like very much. I don't know. I mean, they're not really controls, but... They kind of keep him in there because if you just put him in there and then you tip it upside down, he'll fall. So if you kind of put him in there and then you put these red things up, they kind of keep him in there better so he won't fall out. And then you push this up, push this down, and yay, he's, he's flying the ship now. Another play feature is, of course, there are spring-loaded shooters and you just trigger them like that. So is this TIE Fighter accurate to what we see in the movies? Well, first off, there are some glaring part misusages in this set. Like right here. These should be light gray. It'd just look a lot better if it fit the whole light gray design on the edge of the wings. These having these dark gray just kind of sticks out a little bit. It's also the same way on the back. And also, I was watching The Empire Strikes Back recently, and I noticed that this piece, when you build the set, they have it like this but I have flipped mine because that is the accurate way you're supposed to have it on a TIE Fighter, and the other LEGO TIE Fighters have it this way. I don't know why this set has it the wrong way, but those are the two inaccuracies I noticed with the set. Now on to the minifigures. So the first minifigure is the TIE Fighter Pilot, and I think he looks very detailed, especially on the helmet. If you take a look at it, it is just so detailed. Like, you can see the Imperial Insignia and just all the extra detail like these lines and then the eye eye printing it's amazing i mean i don't know it looks a little weird with those lines there but it's super detailed up close the rest of his body is also pretty detailed he has leg printing and he has nice like air pack printing and then on the back let's see if we can see oh it's kind of not that interesting yes yeah, back printing is pretty boring but i think the front makes up for that and underneath the helmet it's just a kind of smirk face. He's kind of angry. I don't know. It's not the usual face they use. Next up is a Stormtrooper, and this is just a regular Stormtrooper. One of the new type of headpieces they've been making is used for this one. And as you can see, it looks kind of weird. I think this headpiece looks kind of stretched, and also you can't really turn his head with it. But underneath the helmet, there is a, another face that's kind of mad, but not really. I started noticing this with Stormtroopers, that they started to do different types of faces, and I really like that, instead of just the generic mad face they've been using for forever. But anyway, on the back, it just has normal back printing for a Stormtrooper. Next up, we have NIL-8, which I'm not sure if he's actually from Star Wars, it's just a random droid they made, but he looks pretty cool. His head doesn't have any printing on it, which looks kind of weird, it's just a big black piece but his body does have printing and you can see some colored wires and his legs have printing. So pretty nice figure on the front and on the back, we have some nice more wires. Wow, there's a lot of wires on this figure and he has more back printing. Let's look at stickers and prints. So first off, this piece on the top here is a print. That's awesome, but I think it's not a new print. I think they've used this print on other TIE Fighters before, but other than that, there are some I think these are prints on the side too. There's two of them. And I don't think there's any stickers in the set. Yeah, I remember when I built this, I was really excited because there weren't any stickers and they were all prints. So 
There's three prints and there are no stickers. Yes. This model is also very secure. Like the wings are not gonna fall off. You can just pick it up like this and it's just amazing how secure it is. I think they use this Technic connection here which works very well for these wings. But if you want to, you can pull really hard. Oh man, that didn't sound good. But you can pull off the wings and I kind of like the way it just looks like this. It's just a nice little platform or something. I don't know. I really like the wing design. If you take into account price per piece for this set, at a price of $40 and 432 pieces, the price per piece would be around 9.2 cents per piece, which is a good deal because it's under 10 cents per piece. And I'm surprised they were able to do that because there are some big pieces for like making the wings. Like this piece right here is not a small piece whatsoever. And I'm surprised they were able to make it less than 10 cents per piece. So it is a good deal in my opinion. So overall, I'm kind of feeling like this is a 9 out of 10, just because I know there's like the problem with the top piece, but really you can just flip it. So it's not really that big of a deal. The only real problems are these pieces right here, which you can't really get in light gray, I think. And I wish Lego would have just made a new piece for this. And the other problem is just, I don't really like the Technic inside, but besides that, I think it's a great display piece. It's really small, it'll fit on a shelf, and it goes really well with the downsize X-Wing I reviewed. There you have it guys, that's my review of set number 75300, the Imperial TIE Fighter. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.